Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 23rd of November 2024. Hope you are keeping well. El Pais, expert level Sudoku on the way in just a tick. Uh, Trump's cabinet choices continue unabated. Uh, when I, uh, sorry, I forgot an adjective there, insane. Trump's insane <laughs> appointments continue unabated. Uh, the, currently, the uh, worst terrorist problems in the, U, in the US are the extreme right. Um, if you listen to uh, these, the uh, FBI, etc., and, and current um, terrorism experts, you'll find that all of the danger is coming from the, most of the danger is coming from the extreme right. And so Trump goes ahead and appoints an extreme right person to as as a director for counterintelligence, or nominates I should say, Sebastian Gorka. Do you remember him? Loudmouth extreme right person on TV, uh, British slash Hungarian slash now I suppose U.S. citizen. Otherwise he wouldn't be able to be nominated, would he? Uh, but. Uh, a hideous, hideous right-wing lunatic, big mouth, and uh, extreme nut job. <laughs> That's the nice. Those are the nice things I can say about him. Uh, apparently, he's going to be in charge of counterterrorism. So, uh, presumably, he will just ignore any of his pals that he finds uh, involved in such activities and focus only on other people. When I say other, I mean you know non-whites, of course. Anyway, uh, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? Because um, there's no point thinking about Trump's horrific choices. They just will no, not end <laughs> until until Trump's presidency ever ends, if it ever does. I, I'm still in doubt that it ever will end. Um, I think he's likely to just try to stay there until he dies. Let's get on with it. I can start with a 6 and an 8 blocking down here, putting 6 and 8 into the... No, we've got 8 down here as well. <laughs> Let's go one step further, shall we? Let's put the 8 there. Let's put the 6 there. <laughs> I found a pair. I was quite so pleased with myself finding a pair. It was unnecessary. That's okay. More information than less information is always good. 8s block around like this. That's going to give me an 8 in that square. 8 going up here, up here, across here, and across there will give me an 8 in that square. We haven't finished the 8s. Where do we need one? We need one in the bottom left. Oops, excuse my strange mousing. There, okay, we've got the 8s out of the way. I can see one blocking across here and across here. That's going to give me a 1 there. I see three empty squares here, so I should have a look, shouldn't I? It's two, three, two, three, four. And we've got two and three together, so that's going to be our four. Uh, we've got one blocking up here, one blocking up here, one across there. We've got two and three here, so what are we missing down here? Five, seven, nine. And we've got five and seven together, so we're going to get our nine just there. Nine blocking up here, nine blocking up here, nine across there. Six blocking down here and here. Thank you. 
I may have a seven in this square, but I'm not sure. So let me just try it out with you. Uh, we've got seven blocking here. Seven blocking here. Uh, no, uh, yes, uh, huh, sorry, <laughs> what, hold on, what happened there, uh, no, I don't, do I, uh, no, seven, still possible up there, I take that back. Are we missing one three six seven in this column? One three six seven. That is four numbers, and I don't th see one three six seven. So we've got six, seven, and one in the same row. So at least we'll get ourselves a three there. Three blocking across here. Three up there. There's a three. I think I'm, I've only got one completed digit, which is eight. So I'm going to have a look through now, see if I can spot anything new. And I might uh, color in a few blue squares. three across here three across here and three in one of these squares here blocking up so that would be a three Uh, I'm going to stop because I've just seen something else. Uh, we've got five and nine in this block here. We need five and nine in this row somehow. So five and nine are going to have to appear there and there. So that means we're going to have three and seven in these squares. And these squares here are not three or seven. They must be four or six. And I still didn't get anything out of it. Damn. I thought I was going to get something there. But no, we've got four or six here. Six there, six there. No, that's no good. All right, back over here then. So nine and five. So left here are two, three, four. Yes, we did get something. Three blocking down. Oh, hang on. What did I do? Yes, nine, five, right? So three in that square there. Three across here, three down there. There's a three.
4 blocking across here puts 4 into one of these squares blocking up. 4 across here, 4 across there, and there's a 4. 4 blocking up here gives us 4 in that square. This is a 5. 5 blocking across and 5 blocking up puts 5 into that square there. Down at the bottom here we need a 2. 4 blocking up here and 4 across here means that's a 4 there. Uh, 2 blocking across here puts 2 into that square. This is a 7. 7 down to the bottom and 7 across there means that's a 7. One more digit to go here. I think that's a 6 and the missing number here is 5. So 6 across here and across here. There's our 6. This will be a 4. So I just worked that out earlier on, didn't I? 4 is needed at the end of this row and at the bottom here we need 2. 2 blocking, well this is the only 2 digit missing from this column I should say. 2 across here gives us 2 in that square, 3 in that square there, 3 across here, 3 across there. There's a 3, 3 down here, there's a 3 missing number here is 7. 7 blocking up here and across there there's a 7, 7 going to the top like so and across there for a 7. 1 blocking up here and we need a 1 in the top row so 1 goes there, the last number for the top row is 2. Uh, 2, 3 and 8 are finished if you're keeping score. Right, let's just click on the numbers now and see if we can find other things. One up, down, one up, one in that square, one across here and one down here. Finishes digit one. We need a four. Four blocking like this will give us four in that square. That's done. Five. We have five blocking up here and up here. That will give me five in that square. We have five across here and across here. That gives me five there, five down here puts five into that square, we're done. Six. Uh, six blocks across here, that puts six into that square, six up here gives six there, we're done. Seven, seven, seven somewhere, seven blocking up there, that gives me seven in that square, and now we only need a nine, every gap to be filled by a nine, and we are done. A very straightforward game from the from El Pais. Uh, expert level Sudoku puzzle. Remember links are in the description if you forgot to play it before you watch the video. You should try to play the game first. That's it. Thanks very much uh, and I'll see you uh, tomorrow hopefully. Bye bye.